Hi, welcome to my tutorial series Baroque Improvisation for Jazz Guitarists. My name is Markus Fleischer. In this video I'm going to show you how Johann Sebastian Bach is using shell voicings and 2-5-1 progressions in his music. Two things that are very common for us guitar players and he has a special way of using this vocabulary and it's a lot of fun. I'm going to show you how you can use this in your playing. And we take the very familiar standard autumn leaves and have some fun with it. Today's example is part of the violin partita number one in B minor. There's a small piece called the Sarabande. This also concludes our little harmonic and melodic fishing expedition into this Sarabande. I made a couple of videos where I took examples out of it and um, used it on autumn leaves and all things you are. So when you check out the other videos I did on this topic, you have quite some vocabulary and some ideas how to use those wonderful melodic and harmonic ideas Johann Sebastian Bach is using in his music. After this video, I'm going to move on to a different piece, the Allemande by Johann Sebastian Bach, also part of the violin partita number no. one in B minor. So if you're interested in this little expedition into Johann Sebastian Bach's music, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you're up to date with all the videos that are coming. Let me show you the example of the Sarabande that we are talking about today. Sarabande is in B minor. This example is at the end of the Sarabande. It goes like this. Yeah, it starts in B minor. Now comes the interesting part for today. It goes to E7. Some, there's something that could be interpreted as A7 maybe. Going to C sharp, minor 7, also shell voicing, no fifth, could also be C sharp, minor 7, flat 5. It's not clear since there's no fifth. Then it goes to F sharp 7, shell voicing, omit 5 voicing, with a nice inner line. going to B minor with fifth in the bass. So let me do this whole example again. Yeah, those are some very familiar sounds right here for us jazz guitar players, the shell voicings. We use them a lot. It's like the, the basis and the most basic chords, they sound beautiful. So let's take a closer look at this E7 shell voicing. So we have the root, the E on the A string, seventh fret. And then we have the major third, G sharp on the D string and the flat 7, the D on the G string. So that's the E7 chord, but Johann Sebastian Bach is not using this chord as a block chord, playing all the notes at the same time. He's first playing the outer notes, the E and the D, and then the G sharp. And then you have this little inside melody. This is the fifth going to the flat seven and then on top a high G sharp uh, major third. So it's that's nice. So let's check out how to use this idea on other chord types. Let's say an E major chord. That is root, G sharp, 
major third and the major seventh. So we can use the same idea. Yeah, sounds nice. Let's try E minor seven. So this is the shell voicing E minor seven, the E, G minor third and the flat seven, the D on top. And we have to play this little melody a little bit different because on top we have the minor third at the end. So it's going like this. Yeah. We could also play it as a half diminished. We take the same starting voicing here with E, G and D. But then we have to use the flat five uh, in this little inside melody. So let's do this whole thing again. E7. E major 7. Minor seven and E half diminished. Yeah, what well, it's also nice to use this on a E major seven sharp five. Listen to this. That's a nice one. So let's use this on the wonderful standard autumn leaves. Let's play autumn leaves in the key of G minor, so it starts on a C minor 7 chord. Let me go through the chords quickly. So we have C minor 7 going to F7. Then there's a B flat major 7. flat major 7, then there's an A minor flat 5, as I'm using omit 5 voicings, shell voicings, there's no flat 5, to D7, to G minor. Sometimes you see G minor 7, but since we arrive at a um, minor tonic, I tend to not use the flat 7. I like it clean, uh, just a minor triad or a minor 6 or minor major 7 because that is a sound I like on um, a tonic minor. Anyway, so let's start with a C minor shell voicing and then we use um, this new harmonic and melodic device on the F7 so it's going like this going to B flat major now going to E flat major we can use it again minor 7 flat 5 half diminished to D7 can use it again to G minor okay let me go through this a little bit quicker so you can hear more the connection of the chords C minor 7 flat major 7 to E flat major 7 A minor 7 flat 5 D7 to G minor and now without talking
Okay, that's one possibility. Let's start with a C minor 7 with a root on the A string and use and start with the idea, the Johann Sebastian Bach idea. So we have to start here um, with a C minor 7, third finger in the 15th fret A string. And it sounds like this. C minor 7. Then F7, shell voicing. And on the B flat major 7, you have two possibilities. You can play just the B flat major 7, to E flat major 7, or you can use the B flat major 7 sharp 5, going to E flat major 7. It's nice when you have a one major chord going to a four major chord, like in this case, to play the sharp five, because the sharp five to my ear is like a leading tone to the third, the major third of the four. And I like that. So let me do this again from the C minor seven with the B flat major seven sharp five. C minor 7 to F7, B flat major 7 sharp 5 to the E flat major 7. Then we have A minor 7 flat 5, A half diminished to D7 to let's take G minor major 7 so let me do this thing again without talking That's how you can practice using this device. It sounds a little bit lame to play it on every other chord in a standard. I wouldn't do that in a performance for real in front of an audience. I would mix it up and use some other devices, but for practice, practicing purposes, I like it quite a bit. To conclude this video, I'm going to play the first eight parts of Autumn Leaves using this device, but also mixing it up a little bit with other ideas and playing it in a swing style. So it's a little bit more realistic for jazz. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and take care.